I had made a video about making a signal tracer, which is a very useful tool in troubleshooting. And, oh, by the way, you don't have to drill holes in the cabinet. You could put all this stuff in a separate box. But this is the video that I did, and I've got a link to this video in the show more of this one. I had gotten a question about getting a cheap signal generator for working with these radios. Well, I thought I'd expand on this project and pull out the 10.7 megahertz for the FM and the uh, 455KC or kilohertz for the AM of this same radio. So I went to Nostalgia Air and got the wiring diagram and took a look at it and thought that this point right here would be a good place to put a capacitor. I could get both the 455 and 10.7 megahertz at this point. Well, it didn't work because the wiring diagram is not the right one for my radio. And that's something that you have to get used to with uh, documentation. Sometimes the manufacturers didn't update so anyway, I, w I couldn't find the 455 at this point. So to prove that the 455 wasn't there, this next video, I start with the FM signal, and I short it out with a .001 microfarad capacitor, or maybe a dot. 0047 microfarad capacitor. In other words, high enough to short out the RF to ground. And the signal goes away. But when I switch it over to AM and do the same thing, short it out at that point, it stays there. So the 455 cannot be there. One story, and that is revenge. Revenge. That's the Giants. 2007 season, the 2008 Super Bowl, which ruined the page. Yeah. Uh, so why do you think uh, the Abuse Observer didn't do that? Is it blameless or... You know, what? no, I really do think, and I don't think, as I said in the, in the little blog post I did on this, I don't think it's laziness. I don't even think it's... So I'm missing the 455 signal. So I thought I'd show you what I did to find it. A good place to pull off that signal. And what I did was I started at this tube right here, the 19T8. It is the detector tube. And I started there because either FM or AM the diodes in this tube are going to be used to demodulate either the FM or the AM. So here's the inside of the radio and here's the 19T8 and in this next video I go through identifying the FM and also the AM and also determine where I'm going to pick off the FM and the AM signal. Okay, I've got this radio on FM and I'm going to trace it back. And I've already decided probably this is the best point for FM. 
but I'm going to show you if you don't have the wiring diagram some things you can do to help find your way around the signal. Now we looked at the 19T8 and 1, 2, and 6 are diodes for demodulating FM and AM. Now I've got the scope hooked up and here's the pin 6 right there. And we don't really see anything on the scope. Now I'm going to move this to pin 2. We definitely have something there. And here's pin 1. So that's definitely FM. This would be the plate driving the circuit. Yeah. We can see it on the scope, but it shorts it out forward, meaning toward the amplifier. And here is the spot I chose that I am going to use for FM output. We can see the FM signal right there. switch this over to AM, which is the switch right here, and switch hands here and find a station. Okay, there we go. Now we didn't have anything on 6 last time. But we certainly have something on six now. It's quite a hefty signal and a lower frequency, so it's definitely AM. Let me lower the scope here. Okay. So I'm going to follow that blue wire. Over to here. Okay, same place. And then if I go on the other side, this is actually the FM right here, this top one, and this is AM back here. I'll go in the center. And now. This looks like a nice usable place to pick off the 455 modulated signal. So from the video, this is what we found. The signals at the 19T8. And of course, carefully tracing them back, we were able to label the items that we needed for this project. I have modified my original drawings, and this is approximately what we have in this radio. I'm going to be able to get my 10.7 MHz from here, from the second IF. And the 455, I'm going to pick off between the IF cans for the FM and the AM from the first IF stage. Now it's time for some testing. Our home and love. 
it is a beautiful arrangement of red roses accented with white roses and a touch of pink. You'll be impressed, and I know she will, too. Right now, 1-800-Flowers.com has a special limited-time offer for Osgood Fire listeners. For this week only, order the Romance Rose Bouquet in a glass vase for only $29.99. That's $20 off the regular price. These are the lowest prices of the season, so you need to order now to lock in that price. We are final, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now. 1-800-700-2165. Final Trim is an amazing proven breakthrough in weight loss. A once daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients. So you'll be able to lose the max amount of weight, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have two... I had to carefully route the 455 wire away from the antenna because it started a motorboat. And if you continue to have that problem, just use the shielded wire and ground the shield on one side and that'll take care of the problem. As you saw in the video, it works. And now that I know it works, I went ahead and labeled everything and it's now ready to use. I'm going to get a great deal of use out of this signal tracer and injector. Thanks for watching.